Good morning, we're looking at the weekly FTSE chart here and you can see that we had quite a good close on Friday. Now, although the weekly chart looks up, it was only Friday that this thing rallied, okay? From the rest of the week, it was quite depressed with lows of 65.99 being posted, okay? So we only got, Thursday we closed down, Friday it went up, took out the 50% level, nearly um, closed above it, but didn't quite hit 68.50. And that's what we're looking at today. Now, as we go to the open, we're trading currently at 68.49, so we are unchanged from Friday's close, basically. Now, given the higher close and the fact that we are above the weekly and the monthly pivot. This is quite a good thing for FTSE. So what we could see today is if you look across at these levels here, and we're looking at this moving average, and that's coming in at 68.85. There is a really good chance that we can try for that. You've also got resistance here at 69.08. 38.2 is coming in roughly, roughly about 69.84, which is the 200 week moving average is coming in at 69.61. So there's a lot of work to do, I think, on the top side with this market before we can clearly say that we're out of the downward spiral. If you look at the indicators, you can see that the stochastics on the weekly chart just pointing higher. The RSI has bounced off of the 20 level. You've still got this negative ROC. So really, it all depends on what we can do tonight, like today. So now let's whack over and have a look at the daily chart. So here you can see what we actually did on Friday. We did, after closing down Thursday, bash up. And we've broken through the nine and the 21 day moving average. Now, I've given you the levels from the weekly, but look, you've got that 55 day average coming in at 69.34. Also, you've got the 61.8 coming in at 69.11, so it is all around this area really that we're going to be watching. The good thing about what happens, as I said, with FTSE, is that close above the, the monthly pivot. If we can sustain that this week, then there is a really good chance that we can go back and have a go at this area up here, okay? So that's the area we would be looking at. If we can't stay above it, then obviously we're back down to the 66, 77, 66, 50, and so on. This is FTSE's chance. This is the bar, if you like, the candle that is required, the strong candle that was required for the market to, if it's gonna break higher, now's the time it's going to do it. If it fails, then we're back within the downtrend and sellers will win the day. Okay, I'll be with you all day on the desk. I'll catch you later.